Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you've heard a lot of AI-related news and updates recently, especially their capabilities is really mind-blowing. Today, today I'm going to share with you two very popular two AI tools, Bing Chat from Microsoft as well as ChatGPT from OpenAI. I'm going to show you five key differences between both of them. Want to find out more? Let's get started. You can see the two screen here I have uh, Bing Chat on my left hand side and a Chat GPT on my right hand side. So, point number one Cap data versus real time data. Chat GPT is basically based on pre trained data. The default model that Chat GPT is using is GPT 3.5, which is trained and updated as at September 2021. What does that mean? means that if you ask something real time beyond that date, you won't able to get the result. Whereas for Bing Chat, it's based on real time data available on the internet. Let me show you how it differs between them. Let me ask the same questions on both of them and see what they respond. So for Chat GPT, you will see it will actually apologize because the data is only up to 20, 2021 September. Whereas for Bing Chat, they will give you some background about it, and then they, they will put some citation on it, the reference, where they got those references on. Right. So Spain was the first women World Cup title. Right. So point number two, citation versus non-citation. Let me use another sample. Same thing to both. And asking the recipe for Nasilma. You can see for ChatGPT, it actually provides all the ingredients and the step-by-step -step how to prepare for the nasi lemak very quickly. Same goes to Bing Chat as well. They give you some ideas what is nasi lemak. At the same time, give you the step-by-step. -step. Plus, additional, they give you the reference where they got those info from. And you can actually cross-reference to all those references or citation in our words. If you are preparing for your journal or articles or thesis, that is quite useful because you, you're able to get those um, reference uh, sources very quickly and simple. Point number three, standalone apps versus integrated browser. For ChatGPT, basically you need to subscribe it and then actually it launched the, 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 the website by itself and you have to sign in and all the information or all the research you do or the question you ask is within the app itself. Whereas for Bing Chat is integrated to browser. What does that mean? Let me show you one thing. For example, I want to, let me look for article about autism. So I got one from WHO. Let me expand this so it's easier for you to see. So of course, the website gives you a very long and comprehensive information. It's just an example, it might be short. <laughs> so what you can do is that you click on this Bing Chat icon here. You will expand the window for Bing Chat. Right. There are different conversation style you can select. I, I select the uh, creative one. So what you can do is that summarize this page for me in bullet point okay or you can limit them in certain number of words and whatnot so it's quite powerful let's wait for the results so basically what i does is actually what i do is actually um, uh, using Bing Chat to analyze the web content that I'm browsing. So it's actually integrated to the browser. Not that like the chat GPT, you are actually uh, getting a result based on some pre-trained data. Whereas this uh, Bing Chat, you are, can assess on those real-time info, uh, whenever you're browsing, your brow browser, browsing your content or any website, they want specific answers on top of that web content. You can ask Bing Chat to, to assist you. Go back to the chat again. Okay. 
All right. The point number four, which is enterprise ready versus uh, non-enterprise ready. What does that mean? ChatGPT is basically a uh, personal use. Of course, they have subscription and whatnot, but that is not for enterprise usage or company usage. Well, so for Bing Chat, that's uh, available for personal as well as enterprise. The enterprise version is available for like um, those uh, subscription uh, E3, E5 license, right? Uh, M3, E3, E5 license and both. So what does that mean? Um, whatever research that you, uh, or questions you ask within the enterprise version of Bing Chat, it won't go outside your your enterprise tenant. Means that every information will be retained within your company. It won't go outside. Like for example, you are asking some when you are doing some research, you are asking some sensitive information about uh some uh, maybe you want to generate some swap swap analysis about some sensitive data. So all this will retain within your company tenant. It won't go outside. So it's quite safe. And of course, with this. Enterprise ready means that you are leveraging on all Microsoft 365 uh, security and compliance layer. So you are quite safe within it. It's just a service within the enterprise itself. You won't go beyond it. So we won't you basically rest assured um, about the security concern. Point number five, rich format result versus plain format. So obviously, I mean, chat GPT, you can see all those uh, uh, results are pretty much text form. Of course, you can use other AI tools to support it, but uh, I want to show you that Bing Chat is actually able to provide image with the integrated with the DALI. Like for example, you see what I ask: uh, Can ChatGPT create a image of cave cinema? They can't generate any display image. It's a text-based AI. Whereas for Bing Chat, yeah, it's actually generating. Just give them some time. Of course, you can add other elements as well. You want to make it more horror, put some text on it, or put some people in it. So this is how it looks like. So if, so if let's say I want to uh, add, add, add some people in the image. It'll take a while. So you can see actually it's powered by Dali. Of course, there is another page you can actually uh, copy image creator. You can do all your uh, image creation within that uh, apps. Right, it gives some time. Probably my internet is a bit slow. So just give it a try, just be patient for it. All right, so this is how it looks like, right? So you can add people into it. Yep. And you can use it immediately. So these are the five key differences that I want to show you between Bing Chat from Microsoft as well as ChatGPT from OpenAI. I hope you enjoyed today's video and learned something new, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.